All right, today I think is the 19th of July, 2019. Well, I just think it's to the point where people just don't have the ears to hear anything of the truth. A very few select. I see a few good people out there, and that's about it. I'm telling you, I think it's. I think what's what's so tough is. Um, is the youth of people today. I, I think I would rather be an 80-year-old person right now than even a 44-year-old person. At least, at least, hopefully, I wouldn't be caught up in the way of the world today. And maybe I would be of, of, uh, of the past and not so much of the present and the future. I mean, literally is a sickness... I mean, I, I, I've tried to make so many videos, whether it was, oh man, I, whether it's how a Christian should live their life, to racism, to certain denominations, to this, to that, and I'm telling you, I'm very few people had the ears to hear the truth of even how we're supposed to be living our lives, that Satan is ruling the majority of the church and the Christians and the world right now. The deception, I've, I've known the deception has been going on for a while. I mean, I'm sure it probably started around the time of the Mandela effect because there were so many people out there that couldn't even see that the Mandela effect had even happened. You know, I, I can't even like J C Penney's or whatever it was or or this or that. I'm telling you, I, I don't even know what to think, man. I, I can tell you this right now: if you're living for God and you're doing what God asks, you're a blessed person because there are too many people out here that just can't see the truth. I mean, I don't understand. How a person, I mean, as far as, as far as God is concerned, Jesus is concerned, and the Holy Spirit, and the Word, the living Word of God, I just can't see how everybody is the way they are right now. I mean, you know, I cannot understand it. I can't understand the fake faith grace gospel out here, man. The unmerited amount of grace that, that covers the blood of sins that people literally lie out here. I literally caught someone in a lie a minute ago. The comment from Hebrews 10.14, and I went and looked Hebrews 10.14 up for myself, and this person literally lied. Sit here and said that this is what the scripture said. I went and Googled it and it's not even what the scripture said. I mean, it'd be one thing if they had the, a paradigm shift, but I know that this person didn't have a paradigm shift. I'm telling you, it's exactly, I mean, I'm telling you, Satan has got the majority of the church. I mean, the fake faith grace gospel that's going on right now is tied up with once saved. That's all it is. I mean, if there's an un unmerited amount of, of grace, um, then you could just do whatever you wanted to do. See, it's like some people are, are looking one side and then they're not looking at the other side. I'm telling you right now, God's living word is so true that what used to be right is wrong and what used to be wrong is now right. The church doesn't preach about sin anymore and too many people are living in it because of that. And they are wicked and will never inherit the kingdom unless they turn from their wicked ways, repent, confess, or ask God for forgiveness. And He will forgive you. I just hope that you have a repentive heart and a repentive mind because you're not fooling no one but yourself, 
only yourself are you fooling to sit here and think that you can be worldly for the lust, for the flesh, and inherit the kingdom? Come on! I mean, the youth today, I mean, people that are even, the people that are younger than me, I don't even, I mean, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I can tell right now they're just so jacked up on this fakeness. Jacked up on this fakeness. I mean, I think this is the second video. I think the video I made earlier today that I posted up consisted of the same stuff I'm saying right now, just not as harsh. Can you not take harsh reality? I mean, if a person is a Catholic, they don't want to come to the truth. If they're a Baptist, they don't want to come to the truth. And I'm not going to say anything good about the Nazarene church, especially when I asked my friend the other day to, that I want to call me because I wanted to go to church and to talk about wickedness, and he wouldn't even call me. And I remember, oh, no, I'm not going to say no more. I'm not going to say no more. I'd like to keep it going. Nazarene, Church of Christ, Church of God, whatever you want to call it out there, most of y'all are preaching falsehood. That's just what it is. Sitting here, a bunch of drunkards making excuses for their drunkenness, a bunch of potheads enjoying their high... I mean, that's about all it is. A bunch of fornicators, a bunch of cheaters on their husbands and wives, sex out of wedlock, the whole works. The whole works. Okay, there we are. Hey, there's actually some works going on. There's actually some works going on. So maybe they're actually defrauding their own word, their own true religion, what they believe. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't, it's a sickness. Literally a sickness. I mean, I would think people would be smarter than this. Here, atheists think they're the smartest people. I'm thinking atheists may actually be smarter than most Christians. At least they haven't gotten caught up into anything. They just don't want to believe. Heck, at least... At least if one of them were to hear the truth and they were to come to the truth, at least they wouldn't get caught up in all this crap unless they went to a church and listened to all the crap. You were better off not hearing the truth. Going back to your vomit. Going back to your old wicked ways that you were before you even gave your life to Christ in the first place. That's exactly what most Christians want. They want to live in sin and enjoy it. And I can't say anything nice. See, this is, here, here's a sickness. You know, you've already heard, you've heard that little saying, hard uh, truth or something like that. There's a little saying out there where... When somebody tells you the truth, even if it's hard, they just have to face the facts. Some Christians out here say, oh, you're supposed to be no.